Rim Country News brought to you by Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. Same stop, different horses since 1916. And by Terlucas and Brandt CPA PLLC, with a long history of providing quality CPA services right here in Rim Country. On this Tuesday, February 15th, for Tano TV, K Rim Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson with your Rim Country News headlines. Well, a 2.5 magnitude earthquake was reported near Roosevelt Lake on Monday night, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. It was the second earthquake reported this week. A small earthquake was also reported near Roosevelt on Saturday. Officials said the earthquake happened around 7 p.m. and had a depth of 9.8 kilometers. According to the USGS website, there have been no reports of anyone actually feeling the earthquake in the area. Officials said there were no reported damages at this time. USGS said damage from earthquakes really doesn't normally happen until the magnitude reaches somewhere above four or five. Now, if somewhere, if someone is near a small earthquake, it could feel like a small, sharp jolt, followed by a few stronger, sharp shakes that pass quickly. A small earthquake far away probably won't be felt at all, but if you do feel it, it'll be a subtle, gentle shake or two. Now, the USGS tracks earthquakes both in the United States as well as internationally worldwide. Well, in other no- local rim country news, well, it looks like uh, just a friendly reminder coming from the folks with the town of Payson Parks and Rec. Uh, they want you to know that they have a few rules. Lately, the Payson Police Department and Payson Parks and Recreation are receiving complaints for people that do not have leashes on their dogs and for people using the athletic fields for their dogs. Parks employees constantly say they have to pick up people's dog uh, droppings and repair damages. Uh, Now, um, we have some signs that hang on athletic fields and the Payson Town Codes that all state the rules. So as a result, officers will patrol the areas when time permits, and if you're found in violation of any of the town codes, you may be cited for it. The Town of Payson provides a dog park at Rumsey Park where you can run your dog off leash. Now, if you're uh, walking your dog in public and do not have a leash, well, then you may be cited for the offense. Now, these rules, they say, are in place to maintain clean, healthy environments and to keep everyone safe. Officials, by the way, say that uh, you should call if you see anyone violating these rules and call if you have any questions. The non-emergency number at the Payson Police Department is 928-474-5177. And of course, as always, uh, please call 911 if you have any kind of emergency. Well, coming up in Rim Country weather, an approaching storm system. Now that's going to bring some strong, gusty winds this afternoon and this evening. Rain and snow showers are then expected to develop late this evening into much of the day on Wednesday, along with a significant cool down. A full report on what you can expect for the next seven days is coming up next. You're watching Rim Country News. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Jake started out as an Arizona stage stop way back in 1916, and folks have been stopping here ever since. Jake's also has been famous as a popular stopping spot for travelers headed to Rim Country or Roosevelt Lake. But as more people discover this historic stop, more and more, it becomes the destination. It was even featured in the 2008 movie Jake's Corner and later featured at the Sedona Film Festival. Ice cold beers from the tap, imported or specialty beers, a generously stocked full bar, and great food that keeps you wanting to come back again and again. Enjoy a game of pool inside or step out and enjoy the covered patio and outdoor bar with live entertainment and much more. We hope to see you soon at one of the most historic stopping spots in Arizona. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Hi, I'm Michael Dowling with the Old County Inn and Pinewood Tavern. So we've been using Terlucas and Brandt probably for the last four years. They've been really awesome to work with, um, Amy and Marguerite. They do everything now from pretty much all of our payroll needs, pay all of our taxes. They even help us uh, on Fridays to pick up our checks, which is great since they're local. But I pretty much use them for everything. They've been awesome to work with, and they take off 
all the things I don't have to worry about as far as taxes go so I can concentrate on my business. But as for now, they're pretty much doing all of my personal taxes, all of our payroll needs, all of our business taxes, and very affordable and just awesome to work with. And they're local, so we really appreciate them and they've been a great partner with us so far. Well, taking a look now at your Rim Country seven day weather forecast, our next storm system is taking shape over Northern California this morning and on its way to Southern California this afternoon. The primary impact of this system for our region here in Rim Country today is going to be a significant increase in southwest winds. Now, with good vertical mixing, this should translate to wind gusts in the 40 to 50 mile an hour range and up on top of the rim around 55 miles an hour and, uh, and that's again in a band from the Mugion Rim over to the White Mountains. Now some blowing dust may also develop over the Little Colorado River Valley given how dry it's been recently. A wind advisory remains in effect from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. tonight for Coconino County, the Yavapai County Mountains including Prescott and uh, central and southern Navajo and Apache counties. Basically from here, everything up on top of the rim. Winds are likely to remain gusty through the overnight hours in the favored areas over near uh, the White Mountains, uh, such as Sholo and Springerville. The results will be increasing chances of rain and snow showers initially over western Arizona this evening, and then spreading eastward throughout the day on Wednesday. The track of the main low will be uh, actually favoring areas from the Mugion Rim southward, just like in Payson here, all the way through Wednesday afternoon with enhancement of showers along and north of the rim. Now, uh, that's mainly coming Wednesday night due to the secondary short wave. Overall snowfall amounts didn't change much with this morning's forecast package, just a slight increase over the eastern rim than the Chuska Mountains, including Heber, Sholo, and Window Rock. In general, one to three inches is forecast above 6,000 feet with a trace to one inch down to around 5,000 feet or the Payson elevation. Some locally higher amounts of four to five inches are showing up in forecast models uh, up on the rim near Forest Lakes and above the 8,000 foot elevation to the east in the White Mountains. Now this system moves out of the region Thursday morning with a return to fair weather lasting through the weekend. Heights rebound on Friday through Sunday with daytime temperatures near or slightly above normal. A colder and wetter storm system is forecast by most forecast model guidance to affect the southwest early next week, but we don't have many de details just yet, so check back with us throughout the week and we'll hopefully get some updates for you real soon. Meanwhile, highs and lows around rim country today, well, they should be looking something like this. In Payson today, it'll be sunny with a high near 58, but those south winds could be gusting up to around 29 miles an hour specifically in Payson today, so hold on to your hat. By tonight, Payson will go up to a 50% chance for snow showers with winds gusting as high as 23 miles an hour, but new snow accumulation of only about an inch is expected in Payson itself. But with those winds, Oh, it's going to seem pretty chilly out there, so be ready for that. Up on top of the rim at Forest Lakes, speaking of chilly, there's a wind advisory in effect up there all day today, again until 8 o'clock tonight, with their high today expected to be right around 52 degrees. Tonight, a 50% chance for snow showers with two or more inches of the white stuff expected, and the low dipping down to around 25, and again with those winds, Oh, that's going to be uh, pretty nippy. And uh, by the way, their chance for precip goes up to a 70% chance tomorrow morning. So travel up on top of the rim may be a little dicey for the next day or two. Uh, down south here in the deserts of Tano Basin, well, it'll be mostly sunny during the day today with a high warming up to near 71 degrees. Up to a 50% chance for rain late tonight with a low in the basin dropping down to near 39 degrees. And that's what's happening around Rim Country for Tano TV, K Rim Radio News, and Global Trails Media. I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great Tuesday.